Welcome to another video in the Workshop Activator series. Today we're going to learn a game called Tada, and it's all about celebrating failure. So again, this is an activator for a workshop, so it's a perfect way to start off a session to re-energize the room and get them thinking about this important lesson of celebrating our failures and moving on quickly. It works for a group of any size. What you're going to do is you're going to have the audience form groups of two. And then you're going to explain that the game is to count to three as quickly as possible while alternating who says each number. For example, here's a little illustration. I would say one. My partner would say two. I would say three. Then my partner would say one. I would say two. My partner would say three. And you just keep going as quickly as possible. So. That's, that's the first part of the game. You're going to explain that and then let the audience go do that for about a minute or two. Then you're going to have to get everybody's attention and add some more nuance to this game. So now you explain that if anyone messes up during the process, both partners have to do three things. They have to look each other in the eyes, put their hands straight up in the air, and yell, Ta-da! And then keep going. So encourage people to go faster and faster. And now you're going to start round two. In round two, we're replacing the one with a clap. So now it should go clap, two, three, clap, two, three. So it's going to make it a little bit harder for all the participants. Okay, so oftentimes what's going to happen is that people are going to slow down so they avoid the humiliation of having to say ta-da. When you see this happening, you need to interject and say that celebrating failure is the point of the exercise. So you need to encourage people to keep going faster and faster until you see multiple groups messing up and miscounting and saying ta-da. And now start round three. So in round three, you're going to replace the two with a snap. So it's going to go clap, snap, three. And it makes it harder still. And you should see lots of failure and ta-da happening all around the room at this point. And if you're not, then explain that if you go too slowly and somebody doesn't say something right after the other person, that counts as a failure as well. So no matter what, there should be failure happening. And there should be people celebrating it. Lastly, if you want to make it even harder, you replace the three with a stomp. So now nobody's saying anything. It just goes clap, snap, stomp. So you run through that game with all the, all the participants. You interject a few times to add some notes. And hopefully by the end, everybody has participated and has celebrated their failures. And for your debrief, you want to ask them and ask some probing questions about how did it feel to celebrate failure. And rather than, rather than telling your audience how it felt, listen to them, see what they had to say about the activity and how it felt different from, say, dwelling on a bad grade on an exam. So you want to really, in your debrief, you want to get at those feelings. And then you can finalize finalize this activator by discussing the importance of moving on quickly rather than dwelling because in the game we celebrate our failure we say ta-da and then we just keep going and we keep running through the numbers and keep getting better so that's that's really the important part of the game is celebrating the failure rather than dwelling on it and then moving on quickly all right so that's that's the ta-da game it's a great activator um, to get some more energy in the room and to get people in the mode of not being so afraid to fail. So if you have more questions, feel free to reach out. My email is right there. Thanks so much for watching.